You want to switch your career to AWS. But every AWS project or job you try to join, they say you have no experience. So how do you solve that? Hello guys and girls, Raj here. I switched my career from mainframe to AWS. And in this video, I'm going to share some of the struggles I went through and how I overcame them. Uh, so number one tip I have is uh, it is always easier to switch to cloud in your existing company. Uh, so chances are your current company is going through migration where they are moving a bunch of projects from data center to uh, cloud. And if you can get into one of those projects, that's the easiest uh, path of transition. Uh, because if you're already a good employee in your company, uh, then it's easier. Like if you go talk to the manager and then you get put into uh, the project itself. So if you try to switch company and try to get into cloud directly, it is much harder, right? Because uh, you don't have any credibility in that uh, new company where you are interviewing and they're gonna test it out, right? They're gonna see uh, if you have experience or not. External companies always going to prefer the candidates uh, who have actual field experience. Um, so for me, I also did the same thing. I looked out for projects inside my existing company uh, and then uh, started transitioning. So how did I do that? So a couple of uh, tips there. So get new certifications. I got Hadoop certified big data developer and that was 2015 so that was that certification was new uh, when i started learning about cloud uh, i got my solutions architect associate certifications and i was one of the first uh, batch like first 20 people to get a solutions architect associate at that point uh, in my current company uh, so it was it helped me a lot right like if i'm going and talking to a manager who is looking for people for cloud migration and they see that I put some effort into it, uh, then it, it's, uh, it's easier for the manager to give me a chance. Uh, similarly, for a professional, a solutions architect a professional, uh, I was the, one of the first few folks who got it. Uh, so at that point, the company was tracking uh, like who are getting certified and stuff. Uh, since my background was mainframe, I needed to get as much advantage I can get. Um, so the thing is, a Solutions Architect Associate is old news now, right? Like if you have a Solutions Architect Associate, like chances are your company already has a lot of people with Solutions Architect Associate. Uh, so you have to look for certifications that are new and more cutting edge. Uh, so maybe get one of the specialty one, or uh, maybe Kubernetes is hot and if you like container, uh, get certified Kubernetes administrator or certified Kubernetes developer. If you like machine learning, get the IML specialty one. Uh, the professional certs are always in demand, uh, so get those. Okay, the second thing that really helped me uh, switch internally is networking and offer to help without anything in return. Uh, so let me elaborate. So in my company, there will be events like DevOps days or like a cloud event or something. And I would go there and I'll network like crazy. And then I'll also say that, hey, if you are looking for some help, uh, I can go help out beyond my current job. I'm not asking you to uh, give me the job, but give me a chance to help out. Like what do you have to lose, right? Um, so I was very lucky to have a very cool manager. I'll tell the name, Dennis. So Dennis, if you are listening to this, thank you. Uh, and then I asked him that, hey, if I help out some of the other projects that I'm interested in, uh, in big data and in cloud, uh, is that okay? And he was like, yeah, as long as you deliver on your uh, current commitments, like your current projects, and then if you can spend some extra time, that's fine with me. Uh, so, so that's what I did. So I reached out to uh, the other manager who was uh, running the project uh, to migrate to cloud. And then I would actually work more than 40 hours for a couple months or because I will do my existing project work for my current project on mainframe. Uh, but then uh, I will also do some of the work that the new team needed uh, to migrate to cloud because they have to lose nothing, right? Because they are getting my work for free. I'm giving them like uh, eight hours a week or something. And I am working extra and that's, that's okay. And then I built a lot of rapport and that helped me officially switch uh, later on. 
So this part was a little hard, I'll, I'll be honest, uh, because by nature, <laughs> developers and technical people are a little shy, uh, myself included. Uh, but once I started uh, talking to other people, uh, it was okay. And then once you get in, all you need is one chance, right? Because I was coming from mainframe, uh, so I was I, I had to go the extra mile. So for those of you who are already working in like Java, Python, uh, it should be relatively easier for you because at the end of the day, coding is coding, whether you do it in cloud or you do it in uh, on-prem. But for me, since I was coming from totally different technology, mainframe, so I had to I had to put everything in the line, right? So I had to go the extra mile. So that's why for a few months, I actually worked extra and contributed to the cloud project, as well as uh, meeting my existing commitments on my current mainframe projects. So next tip is uh, pick your area of expertise. So you have to have the basic idea of the services on storage, uh, network, and compute. Uh, but then you have to be super deep on at least uh, one area. So mainframe holds a lot of data, so you need to run a lot of analytics on it. Uh, so uh, I first specialized on big data, so I mentioned that I, I had a Hadoop certified big data developer. Uh, so I, I was working extra in one of the big data project where they would analyze a lot of data. I got pretty good at that. And then I uh, started learning big data in AWS, like the EMR, Elastic MapReduce, the analytics and all that uh, services. And once I got confident in big data, uh, then I started learning serverless and then I started learning uh, containers. Next tip is uh, start building a body of work. So at this point, uh, you have basic knowledge across the main services and then you can go deep on at least one or uh, two areas. Uh, so basically for me personally, at this point, I worked extra for the other projects, which was on big data and a little bit on the cloud. Uh, and then I had my certifications, uh, which, you, which I was one of the first few. Uh, and then also I built a good relationship through networking and working extra for these projects. So at this point, I actually applied officially to the cloud projects because I already built a relationship and I have some hands-on work experience. And then I actually switched full-time uh, to Cloud Center of Excellence. So now there, if you are happy, then it's good. But it's always a good idea to start building a body of work. Uh, so I have a GitHub repository. Uh, so I personally started a lot of projects. Uh, so I actually uh, competed in Alexa competitions. Alexa, ask Jarvis to turn bedroom light on. Turning bedroom on. Alexa. Ask Jarvis to turn kitchen light on. Turning kitchen on. So AWS runs a lot of competitions. Um, you, can, you can check them out. I participated in Kaggle machine learning competitions. I started doing a lot of open source coding, infrastructure as code. I started going deep uh, in DevOps. And then I released a lot of articles in LinkedIn, like as I was learning DevOps uh, and I was doing serverless, so that area was new. Uh, so I was doing DevOps on serverless, which was kind of an area that people are looking for. And then I published a couple of LinkedIn articles, which got uh, good attention. So at this point, not only I'm valuable inside my current company, but if I want to switch company down the line, I have something legit, right? Uh, because the recruiter can see my body of work in GitHub and they could see that uh, that's some good stuff I have there. It helps your case a lot. So the last tip I have for you guys and girls is uh, you have to get better at interviewing. So, uh, so what I did was I practiced a lot, right? Um, so the thing is in the interview, you will have mix up questions that you know, and then there will be some questions that you don't know. Uh, so one thing that's in your control is the questions that you do know the answers of. You have to make sure that you hit it out of the park. Like you have to make sure the delivery is flawless, right? Uh, so I practiced a lot. I would think about day-to-day -day applications, right? WhatsApp, uh, YouTube, Prime Video, uh, Amazon.com shopping, retail websites, etc. And then I'll try to create architecture in a whiteboard or a piece of paper. And then uh, I'm fortunate that I have uh, some good friends, good co-workers, and then we'll brainstorm uh, that, hey, what do you think of this architecture? Do you think it's good? I'll read up uh, the AWS reference architectures, 
Uh, also, AWS have a playlist called This Is My Architecture. Uh, I'll give you the link uh, in the description. I used to go study those and then validate if, if the architectures I'm coming up falls in line with those. So I have one tip there which I personally followed. Uh, so it's very easy to get nervous before a big interview. Like you will think that, oh my God, that's my dream project or dream company. Uh, what if I don't get the job? And then you will get super nervous. So a little bit of nervousness is okay, right? Because it helps you uh, prepare. Uh, but, uh, but what I told myself is, what's the worst that could happen, right? Uh, like chances are you already have a job. Like uh, you guys and girls are looking to switch the career. That means you already have a career and you have a stable job. Uh, you are getting salary, you have health insurance, right? So worst that can happen is uh, you don't get this uh, new position inside your company or a new position uh, in different company you can try again just learn from it and try again uh, but at least you already have a career uh, so that's what i used to tell myself which <laughs> helped calm me down before big interviews all right so those are some of the tips and struggles that i went through and that helped me uh, if you want to know in particular uh, some tips about whiteboarding interview or some of the other steps i took uh, to switch my career uh, check out uh, the other videos i'm gonna link them uh, up top either this way or this way if you like this video and if you think this video is helpful uh, then please like subscribe all that uh, youtube stuff i have a bunch of other videos on deep dive on aws services uh, comparisons pros cons also uh, switching career to aws uh, all right guys and girls that's the video i'll see you in the next video bye